everyone, welcome to another cooking video from Sweeney's Creek Farm. This one's one of my favourites, it's a traditional scone recipe, very old recipe that's used in traditional homestead baking here in Australia. Often used as a bread alternative, we just love them hot out of the oven with uh, whipped cream and, and uh, strawberry jam, they're absolutely magnificent with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. It's a very simple recipe, uh, the ingredients are simply four cups of self-raising flour, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of butter and one and a half cups of milk. Very important to have those ingredients at room temperature, particularly the butter. Uh, it uses a rubbing method where the butter is rubbed into the flour and that's much easier if the butter is nice and soft at room temperature rather than hard out of the fridge and uh, also bakes better with room temperature milk. First step of this recipe is to rub the butter into the flour. So we'll just get that uh, flour into the bowl. Four cups going in. Uh, so once the flour has gone in, you then also need half a teaspoon of salt, uh, just to go in with the dry ingredients. So the next step is two tablespoons of butter. Just going to use a knife and a tablespoon to get it nice and level. As you can see, that that, root, that butter there is just at room temperature and quite malleable. Let's get that in. Pretty good there. Now we're using the rubbing in method with that butter in the flour. Key thing with that is to just use the fingertips and to work that through, turning it into like a breadcrumb like consistency. Make sure you're not using your palms. Palms get too hot, it's going to melt your butter. So it's just a matter of getting your fingers in, bust that flour up, and just sort of keep pinching and rubbing it through. You don't want any lumps of butter, you want that evenly spread throughout the flour. You'll feel the flour start to sort of clump together and go crumbly. Eventually you get to a point where you'll feel no lumps of butter in there. Just running through your fingers. I'm not detecting any sort of big lumps there, it's all been broken up and rubbed in. Next step is to add the one and a half cups of milk into that mixture and then work it through. We don't want to overwork it. It'll make the dough tough. You don't want it dry and crumbly. You don't want it wet and sticky. It's just that nice, well mixed dough. So let's get them in. I'm just reserving a little bit there and I'm just going to mix it up and see how it goes. If I feel that it's still a little bit too dry, I'll add it in. It's always easier to add some rather than trying to take it out. Definitely gonna need it. Just starting to mix that through and it's looking a bit dry. Sometimes it needs a little bit more moisture, so I'm just going to add a little bit more milk into there. Again, not too much, just to try and get that dough to the right consistency. Next step is to then get that dough out onto a floured surface and just give it a light kneading to get it nice and smooth. Then we're going to roll it out with a rolling pin. You'll need a nice rolling pin there to get that rolled out. And then we're going to use a scone cutter to cut them out. You don't want too much flour on the, on the board here. Um, that will dry the dough out, so just enough. Just a very light sprinkling, just so it doesn't stick. turning this out and just the minimal amount of kneading. It's just going to combine all those ingredients. One more. That's good. Happy with that. And flour up the rolling pin just so that it doesn't stick as well. And we're looking to uh, roll this out about an inch thick. A uh, little trick that Julianne taught me was to have the thumbs down at about an inch height and that will keep the rolling pin 
stick in a little bit. Just going to put a little bit of flour on the cutter as well, just helps it to go through. The important thing with this is just to push and not to twist. If you twist, you'll seal the edges and it makes it harder for the scone to rise. Just trying to get them as close as I can to get as many out of the first cut. Just giving that a little wiggle at the end to just make sure it's cutting through on the bottom. place them. We're going to place them onto a baking tray and we use baking paper on this. You can just have a grease tray. Uh, we like to use the baking paper. It, um, this is a leftover dough um, so I'm just going to um, add a little bit of flour onto my fingers just get that back together with again with a minimal amount of kneading that I can. Just trying to get that to rejoin back together as a, a ball of dough. That's not too bad. And I'm just going to roll that out to about the same height. While you're preparing the dough, have your oven on preheating. Uh, temperature is 220 degrees Celsius or 430 Fahrenheit. Uh, we don't have ours on because it's very loud and over ice when we're trying to film. But um, what we're going to do now is just glaze the scones with some milk. Uh, that will help them uh, brown up on top and uh, then we'll get the oven going and we'll get them in to cook. So all you need with this is a little bit of milk and a pastry brush. Once you've got them glazed and your oven is up to temperature, these go in there and cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on them as they're rising, you want a nice little golden brown colour on top. These have come out of the oven after 12 minutes, as you can see. They've nicely browned up, they've risen well. Uh, I'm really happy with this batch of scones. Uh, all we need to do now is to um, cut them open and serve. But just to show you what happens with the dough that's remixed or the, the off cuts from the, uh, as you remix them together, you do get them to rise in all sorts of interesting shapes. And that's just the various um, sort of sausages through the dough. So, uh, but they still do taste fine. So you know, they can be broken up and, and eaten, they're quite nice. Um, they just don't look as good as the, the first cut. But how do we eat them? Simple matter of cutting through the middle. We want to see a nice white crumb on the scone there. It's supposed to be light and not doughy and heavy. Uh, it's just a simple matter of some good raspberry or strawberry jam, whichever one you prefer. This jam always goes on the bottom. And then a little bit of whipped cream on top as well. And that is fantastic with a cup of coffee. If you have it with a cup of tea in England, that's known as Devonshire tea. And of course, the proof is always in the tasting. And that's good value. That's really good. Very happy with those. They're not doughy, they're not heavy. Um, they've got a nice texture. If you're interested in having a go at these yourselves, we'll put the recipe down in the description below. We'll also have some hints and tips on what can go wrong, uh, just things with the preparation of the dough and cutting and how you can get uh, uneven rising and things like that. So there's lots of little tricks uh, to go with these to make sure they come up nice. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Um, we're going to get a lot more cooking videos out in the coming months. 
Um, this one's a set of very uh, special one, one of our favourites. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're enjoying the content on the channel, please think about joining the family and subscribing. Thanks for being here, guys. See you next time. Bye for now.